When you decide to get serious, there's only one place to come. The games of Super Nintendo. No one else creates this kind of experience. Because no one else creates these kinds of games. Now you're playing with power. Super power. Let me uh, start in on recapping my uh, Super Nintendo here. This one's been uh, very good to me. It hasn't been giving me any problems or anything like that. But it's uh, due for a recap. Uh, this one especially so as it's an early, early model. Uh, CPU 01 with the separate sound module there. So we got that taken apart already. We got everything disassembled. Uh, I've got two caps to replace on there. And then you know, we got like 10 on here, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, it looks like about 10. So it doesn't do, doesn't do got the cap kit incorrect this is HVC. So we need these two yeah, these two guys first. Got two thirty threes there, two thirty three twenty fives, four one hundred sixes right there, and ten, two ten sixteens back there, ten sixteen there, and a twenty two fifty there.
Not sure where I ran out of storage space there, but uh, it's been going pretty good. I've got all the, just got the last of the caps removed there. Got these two done, those two done, these pads all cleaned. Just remove these and we'll get, get cleaning on those. Yeah, I think we're all good. Um, this cap, I believe, goes between the output and ground. It's a recommended uh, aftermarket addition there. I'm going to go check and make sure of that, though. Yep. Yeah, it's supposed to go across ground and output for some additional noise mitigation. So I think I've done that before. Is just uh, clip these short and bent. 90 degrees there. Yeah, because where does the heat shield come into play? Or not the heat shield, but you know what I mean, the heat sink. All right, so I'll have to be on the other side, obviously. Okay, now we're done. I mean, this one here looked pretty good. I didn't see any, uh, you know, all the solder joints. I don't see anything that needs to be like reflowed. Looks pretty good. The reset works good. Um, yeah, everything's pretty clean. Kind of dusted some stuff off. But, uh, I think we're pretty much ready to put it back together and, uh, Give it a give it a quick test run. Go ahead, since I got it here anyways. There's definitely nothing on there from the factory, so I don't, I don't, you know, I don't feel too bad if I didn't do this, but I've got it right here. So go ahead and put on a little bit of that thermal paste. And I do need a little bit.
So we got the bottom shell here, which as you can see is indeed very yellow, but as you also may see, has no chips or cracks. All the corners are nice and square, which is kind of rare. Especially for one that's this yellow, it tends to get they tend to get a little extra brittle at that time. And uh, so yeah. I'm happy to have it. I may consider doing the retro bright thing at some point, but honestly at the moment it sits in a um, in a cabinet where it's not really exposed to the light. You can't really see the top and uh, the top shell doesn't look as bad anyways, so and that's really the only part you ever see of it any at this point. So I'm not, it's not really much of a priority. Getting this done was much more so. Yeah, looking good. Um, oh yeah, let's see. here are a couple more little things to do. Cartridge connector is a little dusty. Of course, I'm gonna put the sound module back in there as well. Very important part of the equation. Um, on the later revisions, they removed this. It was just a hard, it was just a straight soldered on connector. For better or worse, I don't know if, I don't know if that was a manufacturing cost thing or if a, uh, they're having intermittent problems with the, this modular connector. Seems like as long as the screws are in, it should be fine, but who knows. Nestled back into its natural habitat. Working very nicely. Sounds good, looks good. Um, and now that I've recapped it, I was I was just thinking uh, that it was the the processing on the newer the newer TV is processing the old signal not being perfect, and there was a definite jitter at the top of the screen before. Uh, not too bad, but noticeable, and I don't see it anymore. Not sure, I mean, on the phone it might look weird anyways, but um, here to the naked eye, it looks it looks good. There's no more, no more interference going on kind of at the top of the screen there. So, I'm uh, very pleased with that. Went, went smoothly. So, I guess it should. I've recapped a bunch of those now, trying to repair them, so... Uh, nice to repair, nice to do a recap and know it's going to work <laughs> afterwards, so. Alright, that does it. And uh, I've already reca recapped the power supply for that. Uh, so that uh, that actually wraps it up. I have all my consoles recapped now, so. Uh, the Wii hasn't been recapped, but that one's new enough. I'm not worried about it just yet, but that will be one of the next ones. Um, still have to do my Game Gear. Uh, I'm going to do that before I even turn it on ever again. And uh, my Game Boy Advance SP has a couple little capacitors in there, I guess. So, yep, that's it for now. <laughs>